Okay, welcome to Gold's Garage. Uh, we're not actually at Gold's Garage today, we're at the dino shop. Uh, uh, Daryl Waters is our dino guy, hey and this is his, uh, if anybody's interested, you can contact me through my, uh, my channel and I can get you in touch with them. So, what we're trying to do today is, uh, is dino an engine that I've uh, built on spec and I have for sale, and before I sell it I want to be able to tell people how much power and torque it makes and how well it runs and this is the real test. Now every other engine that I've sold I put on the test stand uh, so I know it starts or runs okay, it doesn't have any leaks, the uh, timing in advance is set and the carburetor is adjusted etc so I know all that works uh, but I can't measure horsepower so that's the negative part about a test stand. The good part is if you take buy an engine you can put it in your car, turn it and start it and you know it's going to run but uh, Estimating horsepower is a little different, and this is the true test of horsepower. It's often called a lie detector. And how a dyno works compared to a test stand is a, a test stand can't provide torque, so a dyno uses a water brake to provide a resistance and measure the torque uh, that the engine creates. And horsepower is just a calculation based on torque and RPM, and the formula is Torque times, times RPM divided by 5252 is your horsepower. So the torque is really what we're measuring and it uses a, once again, a water brake and strain gauge uh, technology to do that. And then second, we're gonna make a dyno run on this engine and show you exactly what it did. We made a couple already. We made 352 horsepower already with this thing and we haven't even started tuning it yet. So uh, this engine is just a, it's a 350, four bolt main engine with aluminum heads. It's got an L79 uh, camshaft, which is the same as a 350 horse 327 Chevrolet engine, a Corvette engine, and we're made in the 60s. Aluminum intake manifold, roller rocker arms, 1.6 rockers, uh, and, uh, and uh, a Holley carburetor, 650 Holley carburetor. So that's pretty much it. And we're gonna make down a run now and see what it makes on this run. Let's go ahead. Harold's in charge. <laughs> some tuning I'm sure we can get the horsepower in for about quite a bit. Yeah we haven't even done the final tuning yet so so far we're pretty happy with it. Okay thanks for watching and uh, this engine will be for sale. Uh, you can contact me through, through my channel or it'll be on Kijiji as well. Thanks for watching. <laughs>